All right. This is Mike Dragonetti from Dragon Rescue Management. We're here with uh, the brothers from from the Yonkers Fire Department, Atlantic Company 71. We're just doing a quick drill on the proper use of the uh, Dragon Polar Tool. Um, one of the key elements here, and what, what really benefits us the most using this tool, is when we have side-by-side -side cars, um, it gives us ease if we can pull over to the stalled elevator. Um, we want to pick an elevator, uh, obviously the one that's running, and we're going to use it as the base of our operation. And the way we do so is by putting the elevators in fire recall, and we'll pull down the adjoining elevator, and this is going to be our base of operation. So the elevator um, that we have on recall is going to be our, our uh, target elevator to bring up to the floor where we're going to um, pull over and pick the door lock on a stalled elevator so we can uh, start our process with removing the uh, uh, occupants from that stalled elevator. All right, so now we have control of the elevator. We get in, we bring it up to the floor. We're going to park it adjacent to where the elevator is stalled. And now we can go about our business by taking our polling tool and just basically shooting it across and uh, grabbing the door lock uh, that's on the other side. So, if you can, um, you're gonna take, he's going to take the elevator tool. So I just come on over. And with the control of the elevator, it can't move because it's in fireman service. It's going to turn on the head of the light, which is a nice feature with the tool, so that he can shoot it over and actually see the door lock on the stalled elevator car. We'll slide it through. And then he can go and pick the door lock. If you can, maybe you can shoot it uh, in between. I'm not sure what you're doing there. Yeah, I can't really see that. No. You did the light? I mean, I can't see it for him. Right. <laughs> right. Sure, if you want. Go inside. Maybe. Go inside the want, outside? Come, yeah, come inside the elevator. You can actually see the tool right on the line. Again, I, I may uh, dub out the, the voice because it's not the Let me get in. It's on the inside. Utilize the elevators during an emergency situation, and uh, we want to control just one elevator and not inconvenience the, uh, the building and take out both their elevators. Um, once we recall the elevators and we step inside and we put, pick the car we want to use and put it into phase two. We remove our key from that phase two switch, come back outside, turn the key from the on position to reset, wait five seconds, right, and then turn it to off. It'll put this car back in auto mode, so now that everybody can use that elevator and go about their business, now we have strict control of the uh, rescue car, and that'll be our phase two car. 